Hello, my friends. If you are choosing to do the roller coaster design challenge, here is what you're going to need for this project. Um, you're going to need to print out this sheet right here, which talks about different lines. It gives you some ideas for roller coaster cars. And then it talks about what other things you can add to your roller coaster. And then you might be wondering what these are, but this is a sheet of strips, paper strips that you can use to make the different um, the different ups and downs or loop-de-loops of your roller coaster. These ones are uh, three quarters inch wide and then if it maybe you want your strips to be a little wider so these ones are seven eighths inch wide so you can choose. You can even use a combination of these. Now Typically, if we were at school and I was doing something like this with you, we would use our, we would use construction paper probably, we would use our drawing paper, which is a lot thicker. Um, we can use these paper strips that you print out with the copy paper by themselves, they're, they're fine. Um, but if you want to make the paper a little bit stiffer, um, these were some strips that I made um, by folding, folding over the paper. And you'll know that we've done this trick before with a couple other projects. So I'm going to show you a couple different options that you can um, that you can use for that. And then we're going to need a base for our roller coaster. And again, if you have some old cardboard laying around, this is from like a ginger ale case. But if you have cereal box or a cracker box or a shipping box, you can cut a piece of cardboard. And depending on how um, big you want to make your roller coaster, that will depend on how big your base is. And you can start out with it on the bigger side and then cut it down depending um, once you get going. If you don't have cardboard, the other thing you can do, and you, rem you know this trick, is we can just take a piece of copy paper, we can fold it in half like that. Then we can take our friendly glue stick and then what we can do is we can put glue on the inside, on one side of the half. Fold our paper over. Give it a really good massage. And then once it dries, it's a little bit of a, of a, of a stiffer base. Um, that you could build your roller coaster on. So those are your different options. All right, so let's get started. The very first thing um, that I want us to talk about is um, designing our roller coaster. And typically, if you look at this drawing, this is just sort of a 2D drawing of like a little hill on a roller coaster. And I hope that you had a, a chance to um, ride take a ride on the virtual roller coaster ride it's really fun and actually it is a little bit scary I, I thought it was super cool and i hope also hope you had a chance to listen to the story roller coaster um, because it really made you think about all the feelings that you go through when you ride a roller coaster i don't some of you might be still too little to have ridden a roller coaster but you want to i know i still um, love to ride roller coasters but uh, some people they don't like them They're, you know, my, it took my daughter a long time to get up the courage to ride a roller coaster um, So we're going to be thinking about two dimensional Different lines that we can use if we were drawing a roller coaster and I have them some of them writ written down here but It's different when we start to think about it when in three dimensions So like if it was a wavy line, we would have our paper strip kind of going like this, right? Where it would go up and down. If it was a zigzag, we would be folding it forward and then backward and then forward. And that would give us the, the zigzag. Um, loops um, are kind of cool. We can loop it around. We can loop our paper around and make loops. Um, curvy is kind of all every which way is we take a really long strip and kind of turn it around and spiral is if we we could make it go around 
and around and around like that. So with that in mind, um, I just wanted you to think about that because with our STEAM challenge, I want you to realize that artists are a lot of times the people who design or come up with really cool ideas and then the engineers then figure out how to build the really cool ideas that the artists come up with. So today you're kind of gonna be both artist and engineer in that maybe you want to sit down and think about what kind of what kind of hills do I do I want to have on my roller coaster? Do I want to have where people go upside down in a loop? Um, do I want to have a zigzag where they kind of go up a hill in a car kind of funny like that? Or so I want you to think about that first and then um, and then you'll get started on your actual roller coaster. So this page we'll we'll come back to this page once we finish making the roller coaster to look at some of the car ideas. And also um, you can kind of make a fun sign for your roller coaster too. So let's take a look at these paper strips. If you want to use them just the way they are, then you can take your scissors and all you're going to do is just carefully cut along these black lines. The two strips on each end of the paper are not the full size. So this one on the end, we're just gonna kinda get rid of. And this one on the end, we're gonna get rid of. Now, if you like your strips to be thicker, there's a couple ways we could do this. You could just grab another piece of copy paper, which I'm gonna go do. This is the easiest way to do this. And now that you cut the ends off, it's okay, we don't have to line our paper up exactly. Um, so what I would do, what you can do is you will take your paper. This is if you want your strips to be a little more sturdy, like this strip is a little bit sturdier. Um, this strip here is not double and it still works. So you can kind of decide um, either way, but I'll show you at least if you want to make your paper thicker. So I've cut the two ends off my, my strips. Now they're all the same width. Then I'm going to turn it over and then I'm going to take my glue stick. And I usually like, I don't know why, but I always like to outline. Uh oh, my glue stick's getting low. Well. I'm gonna go around the outside edge and then I'm just gonna swipe all the way across. All right, and then I'm gonna take, I'm gonna line up the top and the top and just smooth it down. And I'm just gonna turn it over. I'm gonna give it a nice big massage. Okay, so that's if you would like your paper strips to be on the thicker side. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut them out. So we will cut along this edge right here, this little extra piece hanging over. there and then we'll cut on this extra piece here okay and then we have our strips so what we can do is you'll just carefully um, probably you'll need to cut out all of these if you want to have a decent sized roller coaster. So this is just nice cutting practice here. I'm going to um, hold it straight like this. So yeah, for my younger friends, just hold your paper straight like this. Start at the end. And then we're just going carefully opening and closing our scissors and we're just going nice and slowly 
so that you can stay on the line, all right? So I'm gonna give you a few minutes to cut out all of your strips, and then we will go on to the next step. All right, friends, I'm back. So I also cut out of my big piece of cardboard, I kind of cut a size base for my roller coaster. And now, like you, we should have a nice big pile of strips, okay? Now, what I did was I turned my um, worksheet over a little bit, and I'm starting to think about what are some fun, um, what are some fun hills that I've enjoyed um, on a roller coaster. Sometimes um, we can think about like, have you ever gone up a hill where you gradually go up and you go up and you go up and it goes up so high and then it goes like straight down and then you kind of go around and around and maybe loop around and kind of come back and then it goes back through. So if you would like, you can kind of sort of play around with some ideas first and just kind of sketch, kind of think about what kind of lines, what kind of um, hills you want to create. Now, if you have just a single strip, um, it's not super, super long. So what you can accomplish with one strip is probably like one really big hill like that, where you would glue one end and then glue the other end. Now, one of the ways that you can make your strips longer is that you can take a strip and then you can take another strip. And what you're gonna do is we'll just overlap them by, I wanna say like, I don't know, like maybe an inch worth. Just enough so that, and then what you're gonna do is we'll just, just line those edges up kind of check to see that it's straight, okay? And then you can kind of put, put it aside for a minute and let it dry. So I happen to have one that I was showing you guys already that I was working with. Now, when you have the longer strip, then obviously you can go higher with your hill and you can add some other stuff onto it. Um, in one fell sweep, swoop. So in order to start working, the first thing you're gonna to need to do is glue down the first piece and get that nice. So this isn't something that you're gonna be able to do like super, super fast. So we're gonna put some glue stick, glue from our glue stick on the end here. And then I'm gonna start my roller coaster right here. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna hold that in place and kind of count to 10 slowly. And you might say, oh my gosh, Mrs. Herbig. But you want that to stick really well first so that when you go ahead and add all your other um, loops, it doesn't come undone. So we're getting that nice and positioned here, okay? Oh, another thing I forgot to mention to you is feel free if you would like to add color to your strips if you wanna make it fancy by all means. If you just want to leave the strips alone, that's okay too. So I wanted to make this really tall hill. So I'm going to, um, and then as it comes down, I'm going to, right here is kind of where I want to stick it. So I'm going to turn it over, turn my, my strip over, and I'm, again I'm just going to put a little bit of glue stick for my glue stick on there. Okay, so there's my really tall hill. And then again, I'm just gonna hold. And the nice thing about the, this paper is a little bit thicker, so it kind of holds its shape pretty nicely. So then I'm gonna hold that there. And then I have this little piece left over, so um, you might wanna have like a little mini loop that kind of goes there like that. So I'll put some glue on the end of this. Kind of stick it right there. And I'm gonna hold it. All right. And then once it feels like it's pretty good, then 
Here's my next strip. Now this was a big, this is another big strip that I had. So I can just pick up where I left off or if you want to start in another spot. So I could start in another spot that's going to go, maybe there's another hill that goes underneath this other hill and then loops around and comes over this part. So you can also, you can kind of start putting and then ends up back here, but I don't want, maybe I don't want to end up back there yet because I don't want the ride to be over. So what I'm going to do is I'll start in my starting point right here. Same thing, I'm going to put some glue on the end. And this is just fun. And I want you to just use your imagination. There's really, there is absolutely no right or wrong. And I really just hope that you have a lot of fun just playing around with this. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to go to amusement parks this summer, but it might be just fun to, to create um, a fun roller coaster ride and we can imagine that we're riding it. Um, so there's that. Then it's coming down. So I'm going to turn my paper around like this. And if you kind of tilt, if you tilt the strip, you can imagine that it's going on a, a curve. I want it to go like that. So then what I'll do is right here, I'll lift this up. And then I'm just gonna hold that. Now you might say, well, Mrs. Herbe, long strips are too hard for me to manage. And that is okay too. Um, you can just do individual hills with one strip too. And I'll, and I'll show you that one second after this dries. So that guy's in place there. And then I think I was talking about coming over kind of like this right here. So then what I will do is I will take some glue, put it on the end there. And depending on where it ends, you know, if I move it over here, that's kind of cool. It's curving out and around. So that's, I think maybe I'll change my mind and put that there. I'm going to hold it for a few seconds. But you can see it's starting to just be really, really fun. Um, and again, now I'm out of long strips. So I might need to make some more. But like I said before, you might say, well, long strips are too hard for me. And that's okay. You can just use the short strips. So again, I can start a short strip here. Um, here's one. Maybe I just want to make like a loop-de-loop -loop right here. So I could start, I could stick it right here if I wanted to. Um, or put it like sort of like that. That's kind of cool. Um, so again, what I would do is where I want it to start Put some glue on the end and then put it in its starting point. So I think I want it to start where this one ended. And again, I'm just going to hold this. Let's see how fun this looks. And then, like we talked about, we want it to do the loop around. So see how I just made a loop um, like that. So then I'm going to, I'll put a little bit of glue right there since I know that's right where I want to stick it. And then here I got this here. And so I'm going to going to hold that. And I just got a really cool idea. What if I did one here, a short strip? And then I can go up, or actually, <laughs> I can go through there and under there. So again, I'll just put some glue on the end of this one, the bottom. Oops. I'm going to stick this on the end here. I'm just going to hold it nice and tightly for few minutes, not a few minutes, a few seconds. This guy's coming around, I 
through and this guy might reach all the way kind of back to where the start is kind of see how where I started off with that big hill right here and so what you can do is whenever you're done you don't want to do anymore I'm gonna just put this guy some glue on the end and just line it up right next to this one And I've got a lot of loop de loops. Um, you can also, if you just want to make loops like this and stick them on, you can if that's easier for you. And also, again, if you wanted to do a zigzag, if you remember that's fold it forward, give it a squeeze, and then you have that. And then I'm going to turn it over and then I'm going to fold it back and give it a squeeze. And then I'm gonna, maybe I want a bigger one, kind of like this. So you can just try some fun folds if you wanted to try like that. And maybe this is Some fun stairs up to the top here in case it breaks down. So that's kind of cool too. So you could glue that on there. So just use your imagination um, to create this really fun ride. Now, after that, um, I'm going to give you a few minutes to get your roller coaster all created. And then after that, um, I'm going to talk to you about making some cars to put on the roller coaster truck. Hey, my friends, now it's time to think about making some cars for our roller coaster. So I gave you some ideas of different car shapes. Um, and this is about the right size that you um, will need for that will fit on this about this size truck. This one's maybe a little bit bigger, maybe for if you decide to use the wider strips. But um, again, you can use these as ideas and then draw them yourself. If you're really stumped and it's really hard for you, feel free. You could cut these out and use these. And so I'm going to show you kind of how to do that. So, but the cool thing is, is that these cars are already lines or shapes that you already know how to draw. So. If you know how to make a curve, very easy to do that. So I did the curve and then I just did a flat horizontal line underneath that curve. Then I'm going to add my wheels, all right? And then I can just erase that line that's in there, all right, if I want to. Now you might ask, well, what are these little tabs here? And I'll show you in a minute, but those little tabs, we're going, those are gonna get folded and we're gonna put glue on those. And those are gonna allow us to glue the car to the track. So sometimes maybe um, it's a roller coaster where maybe you're inside this, um, maybe you're inside where there's glass or a protective covering. It, it's, it's totally up to you how you wanna make the car. So maybe there's that protective covering over there. Maybe it's open, so you could erase that protective covering. Or maybe you just want to go really, really simple. And you just want to make a rectangle. Stick a couple wheels on this rectangle. Okay. And then maybe there's just like a little, maybe, there, maybe it's a two-seater, so there's like two headrests there. Okay, and again, we're going to need tabs. And if you don't want to worry about erasing those lines right now, if you happen to have um, either colored pencils or crayons or markers, 
then you can go ahead and outline and color these. I'm going to just grab, I have this um, marker here, so I'm going to outline this car right here. The other cool thing is if you feel like it, you could draw people inside the car. And you don't have to draw them. They don't have to be super, super perfect. You can just do shape people. So for example, maybe I'm just going to do head, head, body, body. And there we go. And then I'll just have So there's my people. See how simple? And then I'm just going to outline those people too. But you don't need to put the people in the cars if you don't feel like it. Okay, and then maybe I just need a little bit of color for the car. So I'm going to color in the car blue. If you have, um, yes, you can use markers, crayons, colored pencils. And again, if you don't have those, it's not the end of the world either, because as you've learned in all these weeks, there is such power in the pencil. So we can, we can outline the pencil. We can fill in the wheel with a dark value, maybe the middle of the wheel with a lighter value. So we can do that. And then maybe I just want to give my car like some fun patterns. So yeah, if you don't have a markers or crayons or colored pencils, you can still jazz it up with your pencil. So just like that. And uh, maybe I'll get someone in this car. And put a little seatbelt on her, a little seatbelt on her. Okay. Now what we will do is once you get the cars designed, then we are going to cut them out. So we're gonna just cut them apart out of the paper. And then what I like to do is let's just cut and we'll just kind of bubble around the people. it's a little bit easier. So there. Then I'll just snip up and then around. Okay. Now let me show you how this works. So then what you can do is uh, you could just leave this um, you could you don't have to specifically if it gets if it's too complicated to cut around if you drew people don't even worry about it you can just leave that little white background um, if you're um, if you've got mad scissor skills feel free you can cut out around it too okay now what we're going to do with these little tabs is we are going to take them and we are just going to fold it back so see how now so we're going to take that tab fold it back so now, see how the we don't see those tabs anymore? So the cool thing is, is that here then we're gonna grab our roller coaster 
And depending on where I want to put the car, I'm going to turn this over and on these little tabs, I'm going to put a swatch of glue stick. So it's almost like glue stick, glue stick. Then you're going to figure out, well, where do I want the car to be? Is it at the top getting ready to go down? So if it is, you're just going to take your fingers and squeeze on those little tabs and then once you squeeze check it out there's one car and then if you want it because a lot of times roller coasters have more than one you could put a bunch of cars behind or maybe you just want to have one there but then maybe you want to have another one somewhere else. I'm going to kind of turn this on its side so you can kind of see it. So see like that. And then I'll just cut out this one. I'm just going to bubble around my little people. If you wanted to, you could also just kind of make your people more like silhouettes. You might say, well, what does that mean? I know earlier, several weeks ago, um, third graders talked about silhouettes, but what I mean by that is, so we could take our, I'm gonna zoom in, we could take our drawing and rather than have actual faces, we could just color in the people like that. So they're just kind of like shadow figures. And that's kind of fun because you could, um, oops, you could, um, you could even draw some people with, you know how some people have their hands up and these girls are kind of like, whoa. So again, after you get them colored, then you're going to just take and fold back flap number one, and then we're just going to fold back flap number two. And then what we will do is I'm going to grab the roller coaster and figure out where I want it. So maybe they are going down and they would have gone looped around. Oh my gosh, and then I realized, you know what? <laughs> this doesn't go anywhere. Oh, I gotta connect it, right? Um, but maybe these guys are riding on this part of the roller coaster. So I will put some glue on the bottom of each of the tabs. And then I can just sort of put my one hand underneath and the other hand on top. And I'm just holding for a couple seconds. One, two, three. Okay. And voila, we have another car on this really fun roller coaster. And if you wanted to, you'll notice um, we this is the, uh, the wrong side. But if you wanted to, you could color both sides if you wanted to, so that if it didn't matter whether you were looking on this side or this side, you could see it. That, that would be getting like really um, sophisticated. But there you have it. Now the last step, I suggested making a sign. And this could be kind of fun. You, can, um, you could make a sign with a name for your roller coaster. And then maybe you can have like, uh, something that looks like a ruler and say, so this one says you have, you must be 48 inches tall, which means you have to be four feet, um, tall to ride this. Uh, so you could again, take your extra paper 
And what I like to do so that the, the sign might stand up is, this is her base trick. We can cut our, cut our rectangle. And then what I'm gonna do is actually just fold it over with some glue in between to make my paper a little bit thicker. You could also, another trick could be to glue some paper to one side. So you could take your paper and I could glue it to the colored side so that the back side then is just brown. So I could put some glue on a scrap of paper Stick it onto the cardboard. And then just cut it apart. Okay. And then to make a sign, it's not very difficult because we, everybody knows how to draw shapes. So I could just draw a nice big rectangle. And then draw another rectangle. Now proportionately this sign is way too big <laughs> but that's okay. Um, if you want your sign to be um, a little bit bigger that's fine. Uh, you could also make a smaller sign so here this is probably but it just if this smaller it might just be hard to write on it. But there's my sign, and then you can cut them out. Oh, got to say, so after, at the bottom of your sign, you also want to add that same little tab. And the reason being is when you go, when we go to um, stick it on our roller coaster, you need that little tab. So here's my small sign. Okay. And then see where this little tab is? I'm just gonna fold that so that I can put some glue on the bottom and then stick it so that it will stick so that it's standing straight up so people walking by can read it so it's 3d um i didn't draw i didn't design my sign yet but you can even do that i would probably do it before you cut it out but let's say you cut it out and you need to do it after you can still do it after too so i'm just outlining it and I think I was calling my roller coaster Thriller. I'm going to try to write diagonally T H R I L L E R. I squeezed it on Thriller. And here's my And then I'll here's my little tab. So I will put some glue on the bottom there, like that, and then I'm going to stick it right there. And then I'll hold it up so you can see. So you can see it's so it's sticking, sticking up, so that anyone who walks by can see. And what I'll do is I'm gonna stop the video and then I'm gonna bring my camera down. So, so here is a front view of my roller coaster. You can see the, um, here's the one little car. Here's the other car. Here's my little sign. And the other thing is, is that you could add other things to this roller coaster ride, like maybe you want to have um, trees or flowers or maybe a bench. So use your imagination and really have fun with this and add all kinds of neat and wonderful things, either with um, other pieces of cardboard or 
paper and just have fun with it. So I can't wait to see what you uh, create. If you have any questions, always come to my office hours, 9.30 to 10.30, 12.30 to 1.30. And I miss you so much and I can't wait to see what you create.